Look, I spent half of last year creating an algorithm that trolls dating apps for the best candidates and downloads them into an Excel spreadsheet, so I know what I'm looking for. Yeah, that's not weird at all. <laughs> not at all. That's one dating strategy from the movie How to Be Single. A new Pew Research study says this, that 42% of adults believe online dating has made finding a long-term partner easier. But Americans are still split on whether it's a safe way to meet people. You've heard the horror stories, but you've also heard the gazillion success stories, too. The popular dating app, Bumble, puts women in charge of making the first move by sending a message to a match. After launching back in 2014, it has more than 100 million users wow. worldwide. Wow is right, Nate. The platform just released its financial results for 2022, and revenue was up nearly 19% to more than $903 million. Bumble founder, who's the genius behind all this? This is CEO Whitney Wolf Heard. She is the youngest female CEO of a publicly traded company. Mm. I'm happy to say she's 33. I like it. She joins us for her first interview after the company's 2022 earnings report. Hey, Whitney, congratulations and bravo. You must be floating today. Oh, thank you. you we're must just be so floating. happy to be here. No, we're well, so glad you know. you're here. Revenue's up 19%. We've seen all the layoffs in businesses and major companies that have had a lot of layoffs. That seems to have eluded you. Why? I think, you know, we're in the business of love and the demand for love and the need for connection on a global scale gives us a great foundation for our business. And then when you layer that with our team's commitment to safety and authenticity and really putting women at the center of the experience yes. and really, you know, building what they want, um, I think that has given us great runway. But for the first time, you've appointed a general manager, and I thought, uh-oh, does this mean Whitney's stepping back? Is she taking a, a lighter role in the company? And you said no? No, definitely not stepping back, not a lighter role. We are so thrilled to have Drenna join us. She's extraordinary. This gives me more time to actually lean in to the areas that I am super passionate about and add the most value. So really focusing on our product and safety and engineering a more accountable way forward and thinking about Gen Z and women in general, but also public policy and really all of our brand efforts. So I'll be definitely very involved okay. across the board. Dating app safety is something that's yeah. at the top of the mind for users, and I'm pretty sure for you as well. And a lot of people are saying they would like background checks before people create these profiles that they get lost in. Um, what is Bumble doing to help uh, make the experience safer? Absolutely. So we have a lot of features already that really show that somebody is who they say they are. We were first to have photo verification, for example, but we can do more. Mm. And that's what 2023 is about. So part of me leaning in uh, more on product is about engineering more safety efforts, and we are coming out with a lot of exciting um, features in 2023, partnering with a lot of really important initiatives that mm. do keep people safer. So, mm -hmm. you know, while we are a very safe and trusted platform right now, there are, of course, um, ways to be better. All right, let's talk about the 2023 hunt for love and connection. Yes, uh, you've let's. Some, some survey yeah. numbers here. Uh, about 39%, almost 40% of users uh, on, on Bumble, according to a survey you did, they just got out of a serious relationship. That's interesting. Okay. They're single again, ready to mingle. And about a third of people are using dating apps for the very first time. Could be an overlapping group. What are those numbers and other things you know uh, tell us about the state of the online or app-based dating world in 2023? Yeah, so there is no shortage of demand for love. And what's really interesting is love does not have to be just romantic. And that's why we're so excited about our platonic offering. This is about self-love. This is about friendship. The BFF setting. Bumble yes. BFF. I Bumble love BFF. It. So okay. what's amazing is while people are definitely getting back out there on a romantic uh, footing, they do want to find love, sometimes you need a break. Sometimes you go through a breakup and you need a pause. And that's why we have this incredible offering to find friends, community, someone to go grab a bite to eat with or go do yoga with. And so uh, we're very excited about what 2023 has in store and the normalcy of this. I say I got enough friends. Uh, <laughs> but, I, uh, but this is what I'm fascinated about you, Whitney. You started this company with 24, 25. 25 you, yeah. you certainly didn't think I want to be a billionaire. When you first started, what were you thinking? I mean, and you seem to have made the generational turn, too, in this company. It's mostly Gen Z now. It, is it was millennials but yeah. in the beginning. So yeah. when I started the company, I was 25. Yeah. And I was very distraught about what life was like for myself, my friends, you were and the women around me. Well, actually, 
funny enough, I was actually with Michael, my now husband. Uh -huh. But I had so many experiences as this young woman being dissatisfied with what dating was like in the yeah. world and why could a woman not go first? Why couldn't yeah. we text first? Because we're raised not to do that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I felt that was backwards. And then if you looked at the online dating uh, landscape, the same rules applied. So I wanted to really turn that on its head and create a safer and better way. Whitney, well, you thank have you done so that. Much. We appreciate Somebody, it. One of the crew guys, Jared, said, it, but is she happy? <laughs> yeah. Very happy. Whitney, thank you so much. We appreciate <laughs> thank you. Thank you.